Welcome to our series on college football. We will first take a look into the early history of the sport. It was the late 1860s, and Americans were moving on from the Civil War. Instead of men letting anger lead to deadly violence in wars, people decided to allow men to release smaller amounts each week in sports like football. Also, more spectators were encouraged to watch sports because the odds of injury from watching sports was somewhat lower than watching a war. The first college football game was held in the state of New Jersey between Rutgers and Princeton in November 1869. It was played on a gridiron which got the name from the white lines on the field and has nothing to do with cocaine, the caretaking of garments, or that in football's early years all the players were white making the game slower and not as exciting. Men would run plays to advance the ball down the field with the objective of getting the ball into the end zone for a touchdown. These plays would eventually be more popular than traditional plays in the theatre. Originally the end zone was guarded by the opposing team and two steel poles with a crossbar. But eventually the poles were moved behind the end zone, giving a disadvantage to the defence. Also, when running the ball into the end zone, the ball would have to break the plane to count as a score. Most early college football teams were established in the northeastern United States. Ivy League schools such as Harvard, Princeton and Yale won a majority of the championships from 1870 to 1927. The Yale Bulldogs were the last Ivy League team to win a college championship. Many factors could have led to the Ivy League being not as successful. One was that these schools focused more on academics than sports. Another factor that could have contributed to the end of Ivy League dominance was the invention of herbicides like Roundup. Following Yale's championship in 1927, the Georgia Tech Golden Tornadoes, which are currently known as the Yellow Jacket football team, won the championship in 1928. A simple internet search for the Yellow Jackets tells the story of a courageous group of high school girls from New Jersey. While traveling to the national tournament, their plane crashed in the wilderness, leaving the stranded team to survive for themselves. This is where we believe the term in football breaking the plane came from. We thought it was amazing that an all-girls team from a high school would be competitive in a men's sport, truly an inspiration to all women aspiring to great heights. This concludes the first part of our series on college football. We hope you enjoyed it. Good night.